And whatever the uh, call, if it's against Australia, Frank Arup's likely to protest it. It's only a throw against them after all. You'd think that Saudi Arabia would be given a penalty. But here he's team talks and his rants, if I can say that, because he used to work up a massive sweat in the dressing room with his passion and drive of telling us uh, what we were going to do to the opposition and how we were going to train and, and what it meant to play for Australia and play for the Socceroos. Um, and, you know, so he, he was, as I said, he was ahead of his time, but his passion for the green and gold was, was enormous for someone who really wasn't Australian. He, he was so passionate about the flag, uh, the shirt, the honour of playing for, for, for Australia, and, uh, and, and he did things in unique ways. The Bicentennial Gold Cup, Australia played Brazil in the first game, lost 1-0, and John Cosmina got injured for that game, so he had to bring somebody else in. So it was basically either myself or Robbie Slater. And I guess most people would have expected him to pick Robbie at that time, but he picked me, he called me into the room, gave me a talk for two or three minutes, and I walked out feeling like I could achieve anything. I was floating, played the game, scored it, scored a goal. Very, very lucky enough to score a goal in the first five or six minutes and, and then played okay for the rest of the game. His first goal in a senior international and the coach is very pleased. All the memories I have, and there are many, not all of which are fit for publication here. Some of them were, had to be their moments, definitely. Um, but amidst all those, there's one, one really loose moment I remember and I cherish, and it was pretty life-turning for me. And, and playing at Lambert Park, the home of the famous Arpia Leica, um, on one pretty nondescript day in a game I can't otherwise remember. Um, at half-time in that game, of all the points you made in that half-time talk was one directed at me. Uh, and in your beautiful brogues, um, made it very clear to me that, Jesus Christ, son, one good game, one crap game. Get yourself sorted. Not a lot of technical input in that, not a lot of tactical mouse in that but it hit me to the core, and I remember that as a significant turning point. Um, after which, uh, I can only thank you, Frank, and um, remember you forever. He said, you will never do this again. I want you to grab this moment and remember it for the rest of your life. And that's what we did. And on the flight over to, it was a dry flight, obviously, to the Olympic Games. And again, he said, we will never be here again. So he got himself a glass of red wine. And we said, boss, can we have one beer? Yeah, all right. So on a dry flight with all these Olympians, all these gymnasts who are 14 years of age or whatever it was, and there's the Socceroos. Hey, mate, well done. Good luck. You know, it, but Frank wanted that. He wanted to enjoy himself. Yes, he went to some incredible highs, but he just wanted to remember we're human beings and we're not going to be here forever. We're going to enjoy the journey. Where do you go from here, Frank? Home and have a good drink and a good sleep and we'll get home after that. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Really funny stories it was obviously one with me and John Hutchinson driving to Melbourne um, with Frank and everyone sort of told us about how bad a driver he was, but uh, until you're in the back seat, so you actually don't really know until it happens to you. But, uh, you know, just some great stories about him weeding the football pitch five, six o'clock in the morning at Falcons Park, just so that we can have a, a better pitch to play on. Um, I love him, uh, be sorely missed, and, and thank you for having the impact you did on my life, Frank. Just some of the funny moments with Frank, I can always remember, I'd always ring Frank every month. Frank, how are you? Uh, Hey, how are you, my son? I'm still alive. And uh, it's a, just, a, it's amazing to that he'll always answer in the same way. And uh, his vocabulary was always special. You know, Shitovich and Prikovich and kick the bastards. And, um, you know, his relentless application to succeed and to teach his pupils and 
to teach us lifelong lessons, not to lie down, to be tough, strong, to motivate us, motivate us to play. He was something special. Uh, he was a different. He was in a different world, in a different class. Happy birthday, Frank, to Mariana Gordana, uh, his granddaughter back home. Uh, God bless. Love you so much, and uh, take care and. Rest in peace, Frank Garrett. You're, you're an absolute legend of our game. Never to be forgotten, and thank you for what you've done for us all.